Hello everyone, how are you? It's Mamie. Today I have my five star TBR predictions of five books that I chose. This was originally on Mercedes's channel on Mercy, uh, Merc oh my goodness, Mercy's Bookish Musings, is that right? <laughs> I get all these channels mixed up, so forgive me if I just butchered that. But she picked five books from her TBR, from her Tubi Red Shelf, and she's predicting that she's going to give it five stars. So she picked five of those books that she's going to read them, and then over the course of a few months or whatever, she'll come back and she does another video of what actually she gives the book. Was it really a five star or was it not a, a, a really a five star? So, it's been going around book two lately, so I thought I would do it myself. So my first book that I picked was The Letter by Katherine Hughes. It says, Tina Craig works all the hours she can and volunteers in a charity shop to avoid her unhappy home. Going through the pockets of a secondhand suit, she comes across an old letter, the envelope firmly sealed and unfranked. Tina opens the letter and reads it, a decision that will alter the course of her life forever. Now my sister, Care Care, read this book earlier in the summer and she's kept you know she's been on me to read it and I just haven't had time to read it so she loved it she raved about it so I'm like okay and we, we like a lot of the similar things you know when it comes to reading so I'm gonna hope that this is a five-star rating there's one and then I as I raved about Beatrice Williams a hundred the hundred summers um, along the infinite sea was another book that the friend that originally recommended this book, she said this one was better than 100 Summers. So, I'm hoping this one is just as good. In the autumn of 1966, Pepper's problems are in a class of their own. To find a way to take care of herself and the baby she carries, the result of an affair with a married, le legendary politician, she fixes up a beautiful and rare vintage Mercedes and sells it at auction. But the car's new owner... The glamorous Annabelle has her own secrets, a Nazi husband, a Jewish lover, and a flight from Europe in a love so profound it transcends decades. As the many threads of Annabelle's life before the Second World War stretch out to entangle Pepper in 1960s America, and the father of Pepper's unborn baby tracks her to a remote town in coastal Georgia, the two women must come together to face down the shadows of their complicated pasts. <gasps> Doesn't that sound good? Ooh. And I want to read it. I want to hurry up and read it before summer's, well, summer's almost over, but I just think it would be good to read now before it gets too cold. That sounds good, too. And then this was recommended to me by a bookstore owner up in Maine. My husband and I frequent there, and um, the bookstore owner, she knows me, and she knows what I like. So... She always gives me the best recommendations based on what I like. So this is from Charles Martin. It's called When Crickets Cry, A Novel of the Heart. So this says, It begins in the shaded town square in a sleepy southern town. A spirited seven-year-old had a brisk business at her lemonade stand. But the little girl's pretty yellow dress can't quite hide the ugly scar on her chest. The stranger understands more about it than he wants to admit. In the beat-up bread truck careening around the corner with its radio blaring is about to change the trajectory of both their lives. Before it's over, they'll both know there are painful reasons why crickets cry and that miracles lurk around unexpected corners. Doesn't that sound good? Oh, sounds good. I'm so excited. Okay. And then this is Burial Rites by Hannah Kent. It's been on booktube for quite some time, so I don't have to read the back. I think you all know what this is about. Um, every once in a while, I like a, a little thriller or a little bit of suspense, so I'm hoping this will suffice for that craving. Hopefully it'll be a five-star um, rating as well. And then my last um, prediction is this chunker, another huge book by Rosamund Pilcher. 564 pages is my next read that I'm, I'm reading going to read right now is September so this is huge though so we'll see how long this one takes me but 
those were my five predictions that I hope are five star. But I'm going to be honest and I'm going to give it my full, you know, my full honest opinions at the end. And I'll come back whenever I finish these five books. I'll come back and do another video and tell you what the real result was. So this is kind of fun. So what are your five predictions of five star um, TBR books? Let me know in the description below and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye.